Welcome back to another Axe Family video. I hope you're doing well. We have a special video today with another YouTuber, and this is Jay Malone. And Jay, why don't you give us a little intro about uh, what your YouTube channel is about and what this space is right here. Yeah, um, as he already said, my name is Jay Malone. My YouTube channel is pretty much all about photography, drones, and anything tech related. Kind of use this space to shoot some of my YouTube videos in. But more importantly, this space is what pays my bills. This space is what I do for a living. I do uh, portraits for a living. I um, do lots of children, babies, families, high school seniors, that sort of thing. Uh, in fact, I usually tell people, I think the average is about 85 to 90% of my business is one year old and less. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of baby wow. portraits here in the studio. Yeah, so how many years have you been a full-time photographer? This makes 17 years that I've um, that I've had a portrait studio. I love that because he's bringing all of that experiential knowledge into his YouTube videos. So I've watched uh, quite a few of your videos, and uh, I just love that that you can tell right off the bat that you have a strong knowledge base, and it's not just from researching; it's from actually experiencing. Yeah, so. pretty much everything is based on experience. Whenever I decided to get into photography, I was going through New York Institute of Photography, which was a correspondence base then where they would send you VHS videos to play and I would watch that and try to learn what I needed to learn. But um, that was right on the verge of the film versus digital and uh, what they were teaching, I was already surpassing that. So I honestly never did finish you know, getting my little degree from New York Institute of Photography. Um, everything was learned from hands-on experience. So I have a, a, a grandfather, so my dad's dad, and he was a photographer um, for the military, and I believe it was the Korean War that he shot photos for, and then after the war was over, he um, did photos for the, the government. He did a lot of big construction photography, like dams and bridges and stuff like that. Very cool. And then my dad uh, is just a hobbyist, but he uh, was taking photos as I was growing up and I was really into that. And so now I'm kind of following that path a little bit more. Are you the first generation in your family or do you have any heritage that has been tied into photography? Yeah, I'm pretty much, uh, I guess, the, the first generation photographer. Um, you know, throughout my family, there was always some uncle or someone that had a camera and he was always taking pictures. but never on any type of you know professional level at all. What was it that interested you as you started photography? Yeah, that's a great question. And um, it all started with art. Uh, when I was in high school, I was uh, joining the art and art class and then became the art club president. And I was big into art. Uh, I love to draw. That was what I would do. Uh, when it would come to painting, I never got a hold of painting really. It was drawing that I loved to do. Um, some molding with clay and that sort of stuff, hands-on, I loved it. Pretty much what I drew the most of was portraits. I would draw people. Drawing portraits, I guess I, I got that you know, relationship with people and, and seeing people. And after I graduated from high school, I, or actually my senior year, I decided to pick up a camera and actually start taking pictures. At that time, I wasn't even calling it portraits. I just, I was taking pictures of people. But I used this borrowed camera began taking portraits of people hmm. and all of a sudden someone seen these pictures and said can you take pictures of my kid for their graduation hmm. pictures and I said sure I'll give that a try and long story short I made a business out of doing that and I've already seen a handful of his equipment um, he has a camera right here and a lens and uh, because he's been doing this professionally you know his uh, gear quality is a lot higher than the gear that I'm using, like a GoPro is my main my main camera, and then I have a DSLR here that we're filming on today, and we're actually going to make a video on Jay's channel and talk about um, kind of using whatever you have. Like if you want to get into making videos or taking photos, uh, a, you know, a good piece of advice is to just use what you have and start going, and then over time upgrade your equipment. And so. We're gonna talk about that in Jay's video. Uh, you guys can go check out his channel. I'll leave a link down below and uh, go over there and say hi for me. Push the subscribe button all the way in 
And Jay, I really appreciate you sharing this space with us. No problem. You know, taking your time out of your day and uh, to share some stories and everything. And, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, so it's been great. All right, thank you, man. All right, if you're new to our channel, push the subscribe button all the way in. Click that bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And hit the thumb war button down below. Do you know there's a thumb war going on? Uh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's thumb there's thumb wars on every video. You just got to click thumbs up and, and then your video will win. So. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys later. Hats off to you.